Hello all, I just wanted to talk about one other thing, the blending mode. So in this case, grab a rectangle tool or something like it. Uh, make sure you have a color selected that you want in that square, because the minute you pop out a rectangle, it's going to fill with a the color. Then go up here and choose some other, the elliptical frame tool or whatever frame you want, and pull that out, and it'll be empty. What we're going to do is go up to File and Place an Image, Command-D. I could also hit Command D. And then in that case, grab Texture 7 TIFF, or any TIFF that you have. This is a grayscale image that you've saved in Photoshop, and you can also save pings or JPEGs. Open it, and there it is. Now the problem is, you see how it's overlapping the blue over here, but you don't see the blue in the white area and whatnot? So what we want to do is make this top texture a little more transparent. So we go to Object, Effects, Transparency. Grab that little monkey, and we have several options here. The one we're looking at right now is just the blending mode, normal. We want to go to multiply, and as you can see now, you can see the blue through the white. The only question is I can't really tell if the black is doing anything in multiply mode, but what I can do is turn down the opacity a bit, and you'll see that you now can peek right through this shape. If I go back to multiply and go to normal, you'll see that you can't really see through it as much. It's just a matter of um, how light the front image is now because of the opacity, but it's actually hiding the image underneath a bit or not really showing as much as you may want. So watch, watch if I turn this way down. Just look at this blue area right here. I'm about to multiply. When I multiply, the blue will become sharper, almost clearer, okay? So that's it. I hope that helps, and that is blending modes in a nutshell. Bye.